What's up YouTube? You already know me, my name is Will, and we're here to talk about why do people hate rolling sleeve bags? Now first, before we get into that, real quick, you might be wondering, why would a brand like Airlift or other brands even have their engineers spec a front sleeve bag in the first place if people hate them? And there's a very good answer for that, and that is the space, the clearance, in say the 370Z front wheel arch. Could the engineers spec a single or double bellow bag that's actually reduced in diameter? They could, however, that would also introduce a downside. The downside there would be you'd run a higher pressure when you drive and you'd have a much stiffer rod. That might be a fine option, but instead some brands do choose to run a rolling sleeve air spring. So the reason for this hate actually comes down to presets, more specifically pressure-based presets. Let's give a little scenario. You may already be on air, you may have already been in this exact situation. You're driving along at ride height and you wanna add a bit more air to your bags, maybe just the front, because you're gonna go into a steep incline like a driveway into a gas station or say there's some debris in the road you're trying to avoid. That sounds great. That's why you bought a digital controller, right? You've got presets. Well, in the case of front rolling sleeve bags on your front struts, not to spoil the end of the video, but those presets might not actually get you to the height you think they're gonna get you to. Yes, they will achieve the desired pressure, but will that result in the desired amount of clearance you want so you don't damage your vehicle? So behind me, we've got the Superlow 370Z. We actually opted to pull our Superlow front struts off the front since they don't use a sleeve bag and install some sleeve style front struts. We've got that paired with the Feel Air BP4 pressure-based management. So what we wanna do is see how does that interaction between having a pressure-based management, which is a, the most popular type of management, how do those work when paired with front sleeve bags? Let's get into it. All right, we've set a couple of presets on our controller and we're gonna go ahead and mark those on the handy measuring stick. That way we know for sure when we compare, when we test this in the future, where we land height-wise. So we've set our presets and now we've also measured our presets on our stick. Now let's go from an aired out height up to our lower preset and see how close we get. All right, at this low preset, we got pretty close. So as you can see, from a low drive height, trying to air up on our controller to a preset that has more clearance, and it really did miss by quite a significant amount. Now let's air all the way up and come down to our ride height to see where we land doing it that way. And now let's go to our low ride height. That's much lower than where we're at now. All right, cool. We saw how that all shook out and we have a couple key pieces of information to go over. So just as a reminder, we drew our black lines ahead of time. We went in, we set the presets visually, knowing what height we actually wanted to be, and then we marked those in black and saved them on the controller, easy. Now the next step was gonna to be to do a real world example of going from a very low height, like aired out, up to our preset and having that bag unroll to get there. And we noticed it was pretty close for the low height and quite inaccurate at height number two. So that's a pretty big issue. Now, as our control group, we noticed that we could get from up to down and actually nail those presets spot on. And you might be asking yourself, why is that? Is there some fault with that pressure-based management? Are you getting a misreading? Yes and no. Is it the control system's fault? Not really. The control system has the jobs of adding pressure and removing pressure from the air springs. We're talking about adding pressure in terms of unrolling these bags and then monitoring what that pressure is and kind of knowing when to stop adding pressure. The system did reach the correct pressure when it got to this height, 
But was that the height we wanted to be at for clearance getting into some driveway? Absolutely not. We're gonna decimate our front lip if we're at this height here. Why would that happen? It actually takes additional pressure to pull the sleeve bag and fully unroll it. And that's why you get a totally different result going from a high height to your preset versus going from a low height up to your preset. And it also is why it's a much bigger miss up here than it was down here because we were still pretty at a pretty darn low height down at our preset one. When we need to fight that sleeve bag so it fully unfurls itself, on especially on a car where the sleeve bags are up front, that's where the issue occurs. So again, that sleeve bag needs a bunch of pressure to unroll all the way. You might hit the target pressure, but not hit the target height. Now, Will, what can we do to not have this problem on our daily driver? This sounds like it's gonna be a huge pain in the ass. It will be. There's a couple options. For one, you could always way overshoot before you go to your preset, get a ton of air in those front struts, and then drop it down. That's probably the least expensive approach, but it's definitely not the best approach. Personally, I would go with one of two options. I would choose a different brand that doesn't opt for a sleeve bag up there. There's a whole bunch of different air suspension brands out there. Generally for most cars, Bag Riders carries two to four brands. So just choose something that doesn't have a front sleeve. If you have to choose something with a front sleeve, I think you should strongly consider something like an E-Level or an Airlift 3H, which is gonna be a height-based system. Instead of measuring what pressure your car is at and saying, well, we got to that desired pressure, our job here is done. Instead, it's gonna say, no, we're gonna go for an exact height using height sensors. We have another video about how that works here. Now you might be thinking to yourself, now Will, my vehicle has a rolling sleeve bag on the rear struts, but the front has double bellow. Should I be worried? I have pressure-based management too. If you've been using that system, you may have noticed it's actually pretty accurate as far as the heights you reach. Again, a pressure-based management will only ever reach a preset pressure, not a preset height. If you want for sure to reach a preset height, that's why they've invented, and many brands offer, a height-based system. But do not fear the inaccuracies or the difficulty to unfurl the rolling sleeve bag is much more pronounced on the front of a front engine vehicle than it is on the rear. And that's why you probably have not been having any issues up until this point. Now, if I've missed anything in this video or there's more you wanna know about why people love or hate the rolling sleeve bag design, please feel free to drop a comment below or reach out to us. We're always available on the handy chat feature on bagriders.com or you can email sales at bagriders.com. Peace out.